everyone, peace, namaste, in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Venus, and the Rock Node. As always, this will resonate with the past, present, or future. It's going to be a timeless reading, so please take what resonates. Yes. As always, it's your favorite Earth Angel, Lightworker, Star, Seed, Goddess, Divine Feminine, Empress, Elijah here. Light, Truth, Clarity. What is Pisces' current overall energy? This Pisces current energy. Three, six, seven, eight. Let's get one more to clear. Okay, please. So your current overall energy did have some fear. Could be creating boundaries. When it comes to love, I'm getting when it comes to a loving relationship, you could be fearful and have really strong boundaries. Uh, cleansing currently. Hang on. <clears throat> you could be going through a cleansing currently. Or. Yeah, you don't. Not or. You're going, definitely going through a cleansing. You're centering yourself. Moved by outside disturbances, things that, you know, try to shake you out of your your zenful peace. Yeah, there's definitely somebody that could have possibly tried to manipulate you here, but you're staying in that loving, high vibrational energy here. Yeah, this conflict here, you put an end to, and you're remaining in a state of ecstasy. That's what I'm getting for you. Who is Pisces? Who is Pisces? You got a lot of character. You got a lot to you. So you're a visionary. You, you know, you're a visionary. Somebody that's very ahead of their time. Somebody that can predict certain things or is very psychic, very in tune. Clarify a visionary for Pisces. Clarify a visionary for Pisces. Yeah, this is you, Pisces, King of Cups. Um, you don't have to be a masculine energy, but this is just uh, Pisces energy here. But I'm definitely getting, I could be picking up on a masculine energy very well here. Um, so visionary clarifying, uh, or visionary clar clarified by the King of Cups with the Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower card. So, definitely somebody that's very loving, a divine masculine, here's what I'm getting, you could be having some grief. Five of Cups, grief, remorse. Some grief, that you're grieving, you could be disappointed, um, you could have been betrayed. Or you could be feeling very bitter currently, or wallowing in self pity, or going, you know, very broken hearted at this time over a Queen of Wands. A Queen of Wands being somebody that's very just a Queen of Wands. Yeah, I mean, they hate different. Queen of Wands is somebody that is very creative, passionate, determined, confident, joyful, bold, expressive. Um, somebody that's very helpful of others um, while building their own kingdom or queendom. Somebody that's very powerful here that you, ha that you had a realization about. Strong realization about. The tower. The tower speaks about unexpected changes, chaos, the rep being pulled from beneath your feet, beliefs challenged, new awareness and perspectives, destructing, destruction being unsure. So basically you have a new awareness and perspective of this queen of wands here. That's what I'm getting for you. All right, so got pleasure here, yeah. Finding 
time to enjoy pleasure at this time. You definitely want to go back to somebody that's from your past here. We got a couple more cards here. We have the forgiveness card at the top of the deck here. Or top of these cards here, forgiveness. So you need to have forgiveness for yourself or someone else at this time. Somebody that... The sun card here. Need to forgive somebody that you find as your joy somebody that brings you joy somebody that inspires you somebody that you know pushes you towards your success that's a very abundant energy somebody that fulfills you and that you see as um, emotional fulfillment somebody that you want to you know create with and that you're very positive about that you love a lot um that is very beautiful not only yeah. so i'm back as I was saying, I was clarifying the sun card. So the sun card is somebody that you see as your happiness, somebody that brings you very, uh, very much joy and fulfillment. That you could have been um, very critical and that you could have criticized in the past here that led to failure ultimately in this connection and isolation. But you're building up that child spark within you. Tell me more about this energy for Pisces. Yeah, you definitely want long-term security, this connection. You definitely see this as a very um, fortunate connection. Um, you want to have a, you know, have a team support in you know just hobbies or career or a job with this person you see this person has the ultimate perf per perfect team honestly that you've been that you've been working on how to come in with an offer towards them and have you know give them good news and you know start new projects with this nine of pentacles here pisces this very um, you know, somebody that has had a lot of achievements, somebody that is being celebrated, somebody that is very materially, spiritually, and physically satisfied and um, secure. Very fortunate as well. This could have been somebody that you were in your head about or that you could, could have isolated yourself from in the past, but you want to make a final decision to either apologize or express your feelings um, to and about. Yeah, this lover's card, this um, lover's, can't make this up, lover's card would be Ace of Cups behind that as well as you're seeing. So you definitely want to make this offer to this twin flame soulmate here, somebody that doesn't have to be a twin flame soulmate, but somebody that's a soulmate or somebody that you have a strong connection with that you see as somebody that you're very passionate about. Your guys' connection is very strong. The bond is very strong here. Yeah, to the point where, you know, you grieve the loss of them. It's not like an ordinary person where you can just get a connection with them and just drop them like that with this person. You can't just do that. So you're like grieving this person. So you wanna come in and offer them this emotional wish of fulfillment. Um, and you know, offer them a, a proposal, a marriage, move things to calmer waters here, and have a clean slate in the beginning as the emperor here. As you know, you're standing in your power now, you definitely want to marry this person and apologize to this person and give them an offer here. Some of them are the Pisces. You're very exhausted and stressed out at this time regarding how to make this happen or this could be in the past, take what resonates. We have the four of wands again. I think I saw that earlier. But yeah, four of wands, somebody that you literally want to marry or move in with. 
home, you know, come home, this person is your home. So you want to come home towards them, telling you about the Pisces. This person is telling you about the Pisces. Yeah, we saw the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles here. This King of Pentacles is moving towards you to invest in you. To invest in the connection, to grow it, so that you guys can have this gift of, um, this gift of joy in your manifested dreams and abundance in this connection. This passionate new beginning here. All right, that's pretty much sums it up. I mean, what more can I say? What's the outcome for Pisces here? Yeah, the higher thing, marriage. <laughs> Just point blank period marriage and it's the truth it's the soul it's the truth it's from playing so many connection again energy manifested is going to happen the sun card again literally a happy marriage is what i see for you guys pisces so i hope this helps as always thank you all for tuning into my video namaste